Hey guys and welcome to September favorites. I know I'm a little bit late with this video but September was quite stressful for me and also I'm filming this video for a second time because the first time something happened with my mic. But anyways I have some interesting products to share with you. September as I said has been quite stressful for me so these are the times when I tend to focus more on skincare rather than makeup so I think I have some skincare products to show you and also a little bit of makeup. So let's go ahead and get started with the first skincare product and this is something that a lot of you probably already know and this is my beloved Hydro Beauty Micro Serum by Chanel. And so I'm back to using this serum which is I think this is one of my all-time favorite serums if not my most favorite serum and this is just a moisturizing serum that plumps up the skin a little bit and it adds moisture. So Hydro Beauty is my favorite skincare line by Chanel and I think this is definitely worth the investment because it does give that little plump to the skin and I think this is very suitable especially now in the fall season, in the early fall season because our skin tends to get very dehydrated during the summer and something like this, this is the time to use your acids and also something like this that is going to add moisture to your skin because the skin gets really really dehydrated over the summer months so this is very suitable for the fall season and I've been using this in September. Next moving on to one of my favorite facial oils and I'm using this one a lot. So this is the Jasmine infused oil by Chanel and it has some beneficial ingredients, it has also camellia oil inside and it is very good. The scent of this one is very subtle and very, very pleasant. And I even have a small travel size. This is a very luxurious sample travel size that I always take with me when I travel. Um, and I've been carrying this one in September with me because I was traveling quite a lot. And this is an oil that doesn't feel greasy. So this is oil that's suitable for all skin types. It feels very calming and an added benefit is the very light scent of jasmine. I really enjoy the scent of this oil because it is not strong, it's barely noticeable but still it's there and jasmine is one of my favorite flowers so this is an added benefit for me definitely. But this oil makes my skin very soft, smooth and beautiful and I really love this one. So next Again, I have a skincare product and this is the Camellia Water Cream and I have a full review of this cream and I'm going to have a link in the description box. So this is a very beautiful product and I don't use this as part of my skincare, but I use this as a beautifying product. This is, I use this as a primer. So every time when I feel like my skin is a little bit dull and doesn't have that beautiful glow, I use this cream under my foundation and my skin immediately looks very, very glamorous. So it does make a difference in how your skin looks. I wouldn't say that it does miracles for the skin. I, I don't accept this as a skincare product, but I, I accept this as a beautifying product. And I'm going to show you now. So this is the consistency of the cream. It's very light and it's suitable for all skin types. Let's see if the camera is going to focus. Okay, I think now the camera can focus. So this is very light cream and when you apply it to the skin, it immediately gives that healthy glow and it immediately makes a difference. I don't know if the camera is going to catch this. Okay, so let me show you the difference now. The light is not very strong, so I'm not sure if the camera is going to catch that, the difference. Okay, here we go. So as you can see, it immediately gives that glow to the skin that I don't have on this, on this hand. So after I did the review of this product, some people messaged me saying that the scent was way too strong for them. So this has the typical scent of the Hydro Beauty line. So if you're not familiar with the scent of Hydro Beauty line, just go ahead and check it out um, at some Chanel counter because the Hydro Beauty has 
a signature scent that is quite strong. Some people love it, other people hate it. I personally love the scent of Hydra Beauty line and this, the scent of this cream doesn't bother me and also the Hydra Beauty Micro Serum has the same scent. So the scent of the Hydra Beauty line doesn't bother me at all. I love the scent. But if you're sensitive to fragrances, keep in mind that these products are very, very fragranced. Next, I'm moving on to nail polishes and I have two favorite nail polishes for fall. And actually every fall, I'm wearing these two nail polishes a lot. So one is number, let me see, um, 641 Tenderly by Chanel and the other one is Rouge Noir Classics. And right now on my hands, I'm wearing Rouge Noir, which is a very dark, deep berry color that I think is very beautiful for the fall season. I like both of these colors. These are my all-time favorites for the fall season. So these two nail polishes actually should be in all-time favorites, not in September favorites, but all-time favorites. They are absolutely... And if you have short nails like me right now, um, I really love wearing Rouge Noir when I have short nails because I think it looks so beautiful when you have short nails. It just makes your nails look incredibly beautiful. So I highly encourage you to go ahead and check out Rouge Noir because I think this is the, the ultimate and one of the most beautiful colors for fall season. Next, I'm moving on to two lipsticks and I've been loving these two lipsticks. These are both Chanel lipsticks and one is Rouge Allure Ink Fusion. This is from the new lipstick line from Chanel and this is 804 Mauve Nude and I have a full review of this lipstick so I'm going to have a link in the description box. So this is a very beautiful color that goes perfectly with the nail polish Tender Lip. It's very suitable for the fall season. And the other one is the lipstick that I'm wearing today. And this is Rouge Allure Velvet in number 50, La Romanesque. This is a matte lipstick, but it doesn't feel drying on the lips. Okay, and I think this, this colors, kind of mauve purplish colors, are very suitable for the fall season, especially this color I think is very, very suitable for the fall season because it immediately brightens up the complexion and brings some color and brings some light, which I think is very important, especially during the fall season because we all look a little bit washed out, we all look a little bit pale, we start to lose our tan and I think this kind of colors really bring life to the face. And actually, I, I can see that on my hand it looks quite bright, but as you can see on my lips, it's not that bright at all. It's not that crazy pink color. Next, I have a favorite powder, and this is a powder that I think everybody knows. This is Le Beige number 20, and this is a very light powder that doesn't look like powder, and I think the Le Beige powder is perfect for the fall season and for the winter because it does give that extra color but without looking like bronzer. So it just makes the complexion look very healthy. Keep in mind that the colors of Le Beige powders are a little bit darker than you would expect. So I'm wearing foundations number 10 in Chanel and number 20 is really dark. So I can use it as a bronzer. I can just dust it all over my face and it gives color to my face. It immediately gives color to my face, but it doesn't look like powder on the face and this is something that I absolutely enjoy. And I always use Le Beige in the fall season because it brings life to the complexion. It makes the complexion look healthier and more beautiful and it doesn't look like powder. So this is definitely a must have for the fall season. Moving on to fragrance and I think this is one of the one of my most favorite fall fragrances fall slash winter fragrances because I think this fragrance is especially suitable in the fall and winter. 
I hope that I'm pronouncing this right, I'm not sure, but this is Narciso Rodriguez for her and this is a very old fragrance, this is the Eau de Toilette version, I absolutely love this. It has rose, it has musk and it's warm and it's strong and it develops on the skin, it develops and if you spray it on clothes or on hair it lasts forever. I don't know what it is about this fragrance. I think this is one of Italy's favorite fragrances because I can smell this during the fall season. I can smell this everywhere. Like I'm, I'm going out on the street and I can smell this fragrance. I think a lot of women in Italy love this fragrance in the fall and the winter. And I love it too. It's, it's such a beautiful fragrance. I don't like wearing this fragrance in the spring or in the summer but in the fall and winter it is an absolute must-have for me. It's strong and confident and I really like the rose and the musk and the combination is just perfect. I don't like the Eau de Parfum version of this fragrance but I love the Eau de Toilette. The Eau de Toilette is the black one and the Eau de Parfum version is pale pink. Let's go ahead and check it out if you can and don't forget to check it out on your wrist because this is a fragrance that developed. So the first time when I felt this fragrance it was on a woman and I literally went there and asked her what was she wearing because I was in love with this fragrance and I could smell it almost everywhere because so many people, so many women tend to wear this fragrance in Italy. So one day I, I just went there and asked a woman what was she wearing and she told me, oh, this is the Narciso Rodriguez for her or the toilette. And then I went immediately at Sephora, I smelled this fragrance and I hated it. But then the girl that was there, the shop assistant, told me, but, but let me spray it on your skin because it... So she did spray the fragrance on my skin and 30 or 40 minutes after that, I fell in love with the fragrance. And my last favorite from September, unfortunately I can't show it to you because I left it at my mother's house, but it was a trench coat. And a trench coat is a must-have during the fall season. I really love it, but... Unfortunately, yes, as I said, I left it at my mother's house because I wanted to take a coat with me, but it was a beautiful Burberry trench coat, which I think is a must-have. I think this is one of the best investments that you could make for the fall season because I've had this trench coat for, I think, four, I think four years, if I'm not mistaken, probably three or four years. I'm not really sure for how many years I have it, but this is the best investment that I'm made for the fall season. It is so elegant, it is so beautiful and it's the reason why I look forward to the fall season because in September I always wear my beautiful trench coat and I really miss it right now. But since I was traveling light I could only take one coat. But still I wanted to mention it because if you were to invest in an item for the fall season definitely go ahead and check out Burberry trench coats. They are absolutely amazing and they are a great investment because they are very very high quality and very long lasting and they make you look tall and slim and elegant and beautiful. And also on my blog soon I'm going to do a blog post actually and I'm going to show you also more affordable versions of the Burberry trench coat. So that was all for today's video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and leave me a comment and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!